Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I got a cool car on the dyno. Um, it is from Faulkner. They got a, uh, well, I'll show you in a sec. They got a pretty cool car that I asked them if I could dyno it, and throw it on, see what she makes. And it is uh, the Camaro ZL1, 1LE. So this beautiful ZL1 1LE is actually modded. It's got a dual nozzle mess system with the Weapon X, looks like the big ass uh, air intake. Uh, it's got a 2-3 upper pulley, uh, an expansion tank. Expansion is, well having that extra fluid is definitely helpful. It's got a Mighty Mouse catch can. This is the same stuff that we use because, frankly, it's the best for a boosted car, especially when you're raising the boost. And uh, it also has the DSX flex fuel sensor. And one more thing. Down in here, there are some American Racing headers. And American Racing, for those of you guys who do not know, is one of the only header companies that can use the Chevy logo because they have a deal. Theirs is the stuff that comes on the Copo Camaro. I'm excited to dyno it. I'm excited to see what she puts down. She's a manual because she's an 18 uh, 1LE, so there was no option uh, in 18 for the automatic. So we should see some pretty good numbers. I did talk to uh, uh, Cords. This car was built by Cords. I did talk to them about it, and uh, they're saying it's going to be awesome. And all they asked me to do, since it's here, getting prepared for... Uh, uh, for sale is they asked me to refill the meth, pur purge it out and refill it because it sat for some time. That's pretty simple maintenance, right? Here's a fun fact about this car. This wing is $4,400. Oh my God, $4,400. Oh. The torque's actually more like uh, 654 foot-pounds of torque. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to run it another time for good measure. It's a 
638 rear wheel horsepower, 661 foot pounds of torque. Uh, now we're going to look at the logs. What I can tell you by just glancing at the log is that this thing is running about 12 pounds of boost, plus or minus a smidge. The run itself looks pretty clean. There's no drop in fuel pressure. It seems like it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing. And there's the fancy diff. Any leaks? No leaks. And we got our transmission here, engine. No leaks. All good for modded cars, because definitely want to be wary of that kind of stuff. It looks brand spanking new. And then here's the ARH headers. I don't know if you can see the tag. The tag's on one of those primaries. That's a nice piece. Nice little connection pipe there. Awesome. Unlike Cook's, the ARH headers go back pretty far and get rid of that cr uh, the cramped area. Uh, what cramped area am I talking about? I said cramped, I meant crimped, but that section is on the exhaust. This is from mine, from when I did my uh, AFE exhaust. But uh, yeah, the, the factory all gets this like weird crimped section and that's for the convertibles. The convertible ZL1 has a uh, X brace underneath of it and that's the only reason why that exhaust has that crimp in it. So there are a lot of differences between a ZL1 and a, uh, a regular uh, Camaro SS. And uh, like, for example, this one is a procharged one. You've probably seen it on a video or so. And uh, the engine is not forged from the factory. The engine goes to about 700 rear wheel horsepower before it starts getting issues and the ring lands butt and bad things start happening where the ZL1 has a fully forged engine from the factory capable of well over a thousand horsepower in stock form. You have to add a camshaft and stuff, but capable of a lot. Like this ZL1 right here is a Procharge ZL1, so they took off the factory blower. Well, we took it off. I say they, like talking in the third person. And uh, we put on an F1A 94 and this big boy blower can make over that thousand horsepower to get to the over the thousand horsepower you pretty much meet, need another setup like the f1a 94 a whipple a magnuson it's all capable with pretty much any aftermarket blower that you throw at this so when you end up buying this zl1 from faulkner drive five miles down the road and drop her off. We can do a ported blower, we can do the Pro Charger, the Magnuson, the Whipple, whatever you want to pay for is what we'll install. If you don't want to pay for it, we're not gonna install it. That's just how the world works. So you guys want to see something cool about the Camaros? Uh, they have some cool interior things going on. So lighting wise, you actually have an app. You can put this in like a show mode and check this out. It like, the trim everywhere changes. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Even in your cup holder, like illuminate your drinks different colors. You can put it in link to drive mode, so that's this button. So we're in tour mode, it's blue. You can probably see it better here, up here, blue. Go down to sport. Red. Go to track. goes to orange, go to weather, and goes to like white, bluish, bluish white, light blue. How's that? And you have light strips. I don't know what the hell that does. I have one of these and I have no idea what light strips does. Maybe that's just like you set your own color. Set your own color. I'd like to be this. Ooh, pink. I'm gonna make Brett. I'm gonna make them drive back in a pink interior. Okay. Notice the X sitting there, and I'm like, hey. doop, doop, doop. Is that gonna clear? All right. Enjoy your pink car. Oh god. Did you just change it back? Yeah. You don't like the pink? No. Okay. Well, if you guys are looking to buy this car, contact Brett over at Faulkner GMC in Westchester. Uh, he's he's the guy heading it up. And got a special deal for somebody looking for this. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? 
Yeah. Okay. See you later. Thank you.